Let's take a look at the oxidation state for each element here in IO2 minus. So this negative time, that means that we have an ion here. When we're finding oxidation numbers, if we have an ion, that means that the with an ion, the oxidation numbers, they all need to add up to the charge on the ion. So the entire ion here has a one minus charge. So we don't know what iodine is, so let's call that X. And then oxygen, that's gonna be negative two with a few exceptions. And Iodine's not one of the exceptions, so negative two. And this negative two, that's on each one, so we have two of them. And then we have the one minus here. So let's just set an equation up. X minus two, and we have two oxygens, so multiply by two, equals minus one. So X minus four equals minus one. Let's just add four to both sides. X equals a positive three. So the oxidation state on the iodine here in IO2 minus, that's gonna be plus Three. If you were to take plus three and add it to two times negative two, so plus three and negative four, that would give you the one minus. So that's how you find the oxidation number for each element here in IO2 minus the iodite ion. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.